Hey, welcome back to another opportunity for health accumulation. So berberine, it is not for weight loss. It is not a weight loss supplement. Berberine is for health promotion. So if you're wanting to support health promotion, berberine may be something you want to check out. There's no pill that by itself causes fat loss, that lasts at least, without promoting massive side effect potential. And I've seen experts claim that berberine is not beneficial because it doesn't cause weight loss. So what's important to understand is that when you're talking about natural agents, they work along multifactorial mechanisms and affect multiple bodily systems at the same time, you know, like supporting liver detoxification while promoting bacterial balance, while supporting insulin sensitivity, while acting as an antioxidant, while promoting feelings of well-being. All of this, this whole list of things happen at the same time. I didn't mention weight loss, but what happens when antioxidant levels go up, when insulin sensitivity improves, when liver detoxification pathways are more efficient? Cellular stress goes down, energy levels go up, appetite regulation improves, inflammatory pathways are downregulated. All this goodness being promoted in the body leads down the path of improved body composition. So it's not just Berberine, fat loss. It's berberine, all these awesome things happen in the body, downstream, the person's gonna end up losing fat. They're gonna be using fat as an energy source in the end and become more efficient at using fat as an energy source because all those benefits led to better workout recovery, more efficient sleep, less ups and downs in blood sugar, more consistent whole food choices being made because the person just feels better by doing something good for themselves. So instead of throwing you know, a pharmaceutical and forcing the body to perform an action it does not have the resources to sustain, leading, to, leading it to steal from its own tissues like heart muscle, like bone structure, you could use an herbal extract like berberine that's going to signal the body to perform in a more desirable pattern while st still permitting the body to use its innate wisdom. And the thing is, the human body is doing like a billion things in even a second of the day, all interacting together. How many of us can do two things really efficiently without exploding at the exact same moment? We can't even think of two, we can't even think of two things at the exact same moment. We are that uh, simple. So let the body do what the body knows is best. Support it, help it along forcing it, just slamming it with a pharmaceutical, forcing it to do this thing that it already doesn't want to do, that it's already not trying to do, is only setting us up for more complications down the road, even if in the you know moment we do okay. So my suggestion is let's permit the body to use its innate wisdom that is far superior to our own to recalibrate, to make adjustments, to get our system running most efficiently which is what I, law, I want, and that's what all health accumulators want, I think. So recognize every cell in our body is always aiming for survival. If you force the body's hand via a pharmaceutical means, a, a stress response is being incurred at the cellular level. And with each passing day, week, month, year, optimal cellular balance is getting more and more dysregulated check out this example. So I had a patient who was recommended a stat medication to bring their cholesterol levels down because that is what a stat medication does. And so they wanted to bring their cholesterols down, their levels down from 270 to 200. And, you know, she didn't want to do it, but she, literally she got tired of fighting off the fear tactics of her primary doctor. I mean, really just fear monitors. It was wild. The story she was telling me. So she started on the stat medication and her labs came back showing the suppression of the cholesterol had, had occurred. It, the stat had worked. Her total cholesterol that was at 274 was now down to 185. But in the process, she had gained zero health. And as compensation for the stress on her being, her VLDL, the most dangerous LDL particle, went up. Her triglycerides went up, which triglycerides are a sugar with three fats stuck onto it. You don't want a bunch of that floating around oxidizing because that's going to form plaques then, you know, stroke risk, diabetes, hypertension, all that goes up. Her HDL cholesterol, the most beneficial type, 
the, basically the bus that goes out and grabs cholesterol and brings it back to the liver, that went down. So the actual important processes, the things we know truly matter related to cholesterol, went the opposite direction. But her total cholesterol was now 185. And her primary doc is happy with that. Even though there was no health gained and long term, you know, the idea is you just stand up for the rest of your life. Long term, health is being taken from her. Well, she has lower cholesterol, but her risk of heart disease, diabetes, hypertension, stroke, those are all those are all going up. Even though her total cholesterol level looks better. I know this is like such narrow thinking, but it's per pervasive. On the other hand, what if, you know, you use something like berberine, you know, it's not going to force cholesterol to do anything. It's not going to go down in you know a couple days, weeks, months, but it will work with the mechanisms that are supporting detoxification, the antioxidants and inflammatory mechanisms that are why her cholesterol is elevated in the first place. And over time, by supporting these processes, not only will her cholesterol likely slowly come down into an optimal range, but her body as a whole will accumulate health and become more vital. Not only that, but her triglycerides are going to be better. Her HDL is going to go up. Her LDL is, is going to come down a little bit. And her VLDL, those very low density lipoproteins that are going the opposite way of the statin, they are likely to come down as well. So my thing is, if you're getting your food routine lined up, you're getting your exercise routine established, you're working on your sleep hygiene, your stress metabolism, Something like berberine, an herbal extract like berberine, is definitely an, a, a, a consideration I would bring to the table or bring on board, you know, to help increase the efficiency of these lifestyle adjustments. And, you know, berberine, it's one of those herbal extracts that has so much published data on it, so many benefits noted, and, you know, a very, very teeny potential for side effects. And so many people find themselves wanting to transform their health state, but after years of ignorance, you know, related to health and or you know poor decision making, they find themselves way behind in blood sugar, cholesterol imbalances, fatty liver, bacterial imbalances, you know, yeast excess. This is kind of like their normal way of living. And many times digging out of this whole hole of like ill health, it just seems it seems too deep. And so utilizing these herbal extracts like berberine. It really, it can make that, that process much more manageable and, and get you down the road quicker. So let me know your experience with berberine. Love to hear it. Good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, I'm Dr. Matt, and please like, subscribe, and most importantly, if you could share this with your buddy, your family member, it's just going to increase their opportunity to accumulate more health, which is what we are all about here. All right. Talk to you guys and gals later.